In this video, we're going to replace the front driver strut assembly on this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. We're going to remove this cowl piece. To do that, we're going to remove our wipers. So we're going to have to take a little pick tool and pop up the covers for the nuts on the wipers. Fourteen millimeter socket. We'll take these nuts off. You're going to have to pull straight out on this stud. Sometimes what'll help is if you rotate it just a little bit and wiggle back and forth you know, or just pop your arm straight up like that and lift them off. All right, remove the passenger side wiper. We're going to remove this panel here. There are three clips and it'll clip also under your A pillar. So we're going to grab here and just pull inward, remove those three clips up front. We can just slide it out. We'll do the same on the other side. All right, so now the only thing left we have holding on our cowl piece is this hose for windshield washer. We're going to disconnect here, just grab both sides, try and pull this side off. We can set this side away. Then we have one last clip holding that washer tube in place. Let's use a panel tool, pry up that clip. Now we can remove our cowl piece. It's going to be clipped in and under the windshield. So we're going to rotate it up and out. And on the other side, we're just going to make sure we're going to clear our wiper arms and do the same thing. And set this aside. All right, now we're going to remove these top three bolts holding in our strut, our 14 millimeter. Just have them on our breaker bar here, get a little bit more leverage. The 21 millimeter socket, we're going to remove our lug nuts and our wheel. Now that we have the top three bolts on our strut released and we're working underneath the vehicle, you want to support your control arm and support your front suspension to about ride height before you start undoing the rest of your bolts. We're using a pull jack to do that. You can use a jack stand or a jack as well. All right, so now we'll remove our sway bar link from our strut. We use a 16 millimeter wrench in back and a 19 millimeter socket in front. We can go ahead and push that out and out of the way. So we're going to remove our speed sensor bracket and our brake hose bracket off of the strut assembly. We'll do that with a 12 millimeter socket. All right, so we have our speed sensor and our hose out of the way. Now we can remove our two bolts holding our strut to our knuckle. It's going to be a 17 millimeter wrench on front and a 19 millimeter socket on back. Now to not mess up the threads and hammer them through, we're going to try and just back the bolts out. If that works, great. Now what you want to do, now that you have all your bolts and all your cables and harnesses disconnected from your strut, your strut is completely loose, you can lower your jack 
to the point where the top is free and you can wiggle your strut assembly out. What you may have to do is grab a hammer or a mallet, just give your strut a few taps to get it loose from the knuckle. Once it falls loose, you can go ahead and remove it. Now we'll install our new strut assembly. What we're going to do is line up the best we can the top three bolts. I'm just going to place those into position. That'll give us a little bit of a guide to line up our two bottom bolts here. Those two bottom bolts lined up just to hold it in place. We're going to put a screwdriver all the way through. And now we're going to jack up our control arm and sit our three bolts into position up top. All right, so now that we're mostly lined up, we can use our screwdriver to help line up the bolt holes. What we'll do is put these two bolts in. Here you want to avoid using your hammer to force them through. You don't want to ruin the threads. So we're going to try and switch, see if we can get the top one lined up. We can thread on our nuts. All right, with a 17 millimeter wrench on front and a 19 millimeter socket on back, we'll snug these up. Put our sway bar link back into our strut. Thread our nut on by hand. Snug that up. And we'll come back and torque it down. So we'll get our speed sensor cable back into position. So now we'll put our last bolt in, hold on our brake hose bracket. You can go ahead and lower your jack if you need to, in our case we need to, to lower the vehicle to get to the top bolts. If you're working with your vehicle on the ground and you can get to your top bolts, you don't need to lower your jack. All right, now on the top side, you can see our strut top bolts are sticking through. We have our vehicle on a jack stand, pushing pressure up in ride height position. So now we know our bolts are all the way up and it's fully seated. Go ahead and thread our nuts on. And now we're going to torque these nuts down to 40 foot-pounds. All right, we're going to replace our cowl now. If you notice on the inside of this, there are some clips. Those are going to go under your windshield. So you're going to put it in, angle it down. Make sure to clear your windshield wiper studs. And then clip it into place. Ours is a little broken here. Right. 
You'll know you're in line when your holes for your clips line up. All right, so we're going to install our side trim pieces here. You have a couple of clips that will slide into and under your A pillar and a few clips that will push straight down. What we're going to do is slide this in place from the bottom. like that and just push down in this area for our three clips. We'll do the same on the other side. I'm going to reinstall our driver's side wiper now. We're going to do, we can actually see where this one sat in the parked position. We're going to get it very close to the same position. If you notice on your arm, there's a DR printed on this arm so you can tell this is a driver's side. Easiest way to do this is flatten out this bend and then install it onto the stud. Like that. While you have it flattened and in the position, go ahead and thread your nut on. Now we can tighten those down. And as you tighten this, you're turning that motor a little bit, so a little pressure holding that in place. All right, we can finish it off by putting the cap back on. Now we can install the passenger blade. Same thing, put it in the park position, flatten out that arm, and slide it onto the stud. While it's flat, go ahead and thread on your nut. The 15 millimeter socket, we'll tighten these down. And we'll finish it off by putting the cap on. Now we're going to reconnect our hose. Just take these two ends, push them together. And then the last step on this hose is to put this clip back in place. All right, so our vehicle did not come equipped with push pins holding this cowl down. Yours will. You have one, two, three, and four push pins. You want to put those back in now. So now with your vehicle at ride height, we can go ahead and torque our strut bolts. So we're going to use a 17 millimeter on one side, 19 on the other. We're going to torque these down to 110 foot pounds. All right, now we're going to torque down our sway bar link. We're going to put a 16 millimeter wrench behind. 18 millimeter socket on the front. We're going to torque it down to 80 foot pounds. Put the wheel back on. Go ahead and put our lug nuts on by hand. All right, with a 21 millimeter socket. We'll just snug these up. All right, so now we're going to torque our lug nuts down with the vehicle on the ground. The tire is not going to rotate. We're going to torque them down with a 21 millimeter socket to 69 foot pounds. We're going to do that in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ, the only company that lets you view before you do.
TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.